it comes to Nestle globally, we've seen the horse meat scandal, seeing the company on a global scale needing to withdraw some of its beef pasta meals from sale in Italy, Spain, uh, France as well. And uh, that after finding traces of horse DNA in those products. The country has said, though, that it would not have a significant impact on its uh, earnings moving forward. But the negative news flow could well limit the stock's upside potential in the near term. When it comes to Nestle Nigeria, well, it hasn't impacted just yet. We've seen that company report a 38% rise in full-year pre-tax profit to 25.05 billion naira. And this due to strong sales from its food and cereals products in Africa's second largest economy. Martin Wolno is CEO of Nestle Nigeria and joins us now to unpack the numbers. Uh, thanks so much, Martin, for joining us this morning. Well, certainly those numbers yesterday are surprising many um, analysts' expectations and investors certainly showing their approval as well with a sharp price price gain in, uh, gain in that share price to 981 Naira. Take us through what's underpinned the company's performance through this period. Uh, thank you, Alicia. Well, I, I, I guess we have to first look at our capital investments, which have been very, very strong. And uh, this, together with a restructuring of our route to market, has really maintained our constant performance. Uh, in terms of investments, we're talking around 75 billion Naira over 2007 to 2012, and uh, we don't stop, so this continues in both product capability with our existing factory as well as a new factory we built in 2011. So uh, these, these type of investments are really beginning to meet the needs of the consumer. Um, other things like uh, reformulation of some of our key brands like Milo, uh, to give us a winning formula have also p played a con significant role as well. Martin, uh, it sounds almost too good to be true, but it's a big country, it's a tough market to be in. What are some of the lessons you've learned uh, from your performance there? You've never had to approach the equity markets for cash. You've obviously grown enough in your own right. Uh, you stand out as a manufacturing company in Nigeria. Why, why do you stand out? Uh, that's a good question. I, I think mostly it's because we're focused on the consumer. Uh, we've definitely got a core range of products which we've not distracted ourselves with a, a, a very wide range or a wide portfolio. The, the first priority for the company some years ago, back in around 2008 and 9, uh, was to sustain ourselves with adequate uh, infrastructure to meet consumer needs with the products we've got. We've been in Nigeria for around 50, well, 51 years, in fact, this year, uh, coming on 52. So we understand the consumer place, uh, the marketplace, and what people are looking for. And of course, in a food business, it's essential that you're making products that consumers uh, appreciate. So making quality products is, is, is obviously a Nestle trait. Marketing uh, is also a, a key principle of Nestle, but understanding how to market in the African environment. So we're focused much more on, let's say, front end uh, marketing. Uh, don't think television, think activations in markets and think uh, product sampling, for instance, over 20 million consumer samplings last year. So, so you really need to be very specific to the marketplace. Yeah, so Martin, let's get specific about uh, you know, the kind of targets that have been set. Where does the company go from here from a growth perspective? Because the mm. kind of track record you've laid over the past five years mm. is going to be a tough one to sustain, never the, never le uh, nevertheless beat. Uh, we're, we're very optimistic actually and um, that ambition is based on good planning and, and obviously continuation of investment. Uh, um, we, we're planning on investing as much again in the future. In fact, uh, in the next 10 years we would look to invest uh, easily 100, million, 100 billion Naira uh, coming into the, the next 10 years in Nigeria. Um, that's, it, that's prefabricated around the, the continuing needs of not only the existing range, uh, but also then looking at other categories as we start to move forward. The uh, example of that, in fact, we broke, we're breaking ground this year on, on a third factory, which we'll start to explore. Begin, by, by the end of this year, we'll start building. And um, that will be just south of Abuja, somewhere in the capital territory. Mm -hmm. Martin, if you look so at... We, we're optimistic, very. Martin, if you look at the, the infrastructure issues in, in the African continent generally, uh, certainly in South Africa, electricity mm. prices are a really big uh, factor for manufacturing companies. For most companies, prices are going mm. up uh, exponentially on electricity. Uh, how does it sit in Nigeria in terms of a manufacturing company which needs reliable power supplies, which needs reliable distribution infrastructure? Uh, presumably you've been pretty innovative in ensuring that. 
Yep. Um, in fact, we, we inaugurated uh, uh, nearly three years ago now our own investment in uh, 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 our own power generation plant. In, we're, we're, we're fully integrated in Nigeria. Nearly 100% of our, our raw materials are coming from, from Nigerian crops, uh, coming soy, sorghum, maize, and so on. Uh, we have one of the largest factories in our Africa Asian operations in Agbara, which is a suburb or ex just outside of Lagos. And we've developed a 27 million Swiss franc uh, f in generation power plant just in order to, sus to sustain our own ability to be consistent. If you take a power cut in the food industry, it's not a five minute switch over between uh, nat uh, you know, national power grid and your own generators. It's actually a half a day to clean up the machines and start all over again. Yeah. So with the volume generation, and it was just getting so big, we had to invest in, in our own. We will eventually, of course, as the country moves forward, um, we'll, we will move into the national grid as soon as it becomes a viable option. Otherwise, most of the companies here have to generate their own power.